Hello everyone, welcome back to the West Marches. And by West Marches, I mean Court of Swords. <laughs> Fucking the asshole in Hello. chat that said West Marches needs to come back got it in my head. Oh, and I reverted so two years ago. Good, good episode, everybody. Jesus. Thanks for coming. I'm doing that. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Court of Swords. I'm JP McDaniel. This is not the second time we're doing this whatsoever. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's been like 35 days since we've played. Also, That's Adam's a drinking a white monster. Why does everyone drink white monster? Uh, it's Jeff's fault, man. It's totally all Jeff's I fault. Had I had three one. of those and they were the worst three days of my life and I'm never going to buy them again. Steps. And then I bought yeah. one in the airport. I can't, yeah, I can't help it. I, I bought a few when I got home because I was like, all right, it's not Red Bull. I'm getting sick of the taste of Red Bull, but... I still have them, and I don't know that I've had a white monster. What was the flavor of it? What's the? It just difference? tastes like white monster. <laughs> other, yeah, tastes like fucked up chemicals. There's so it. many different monsters now. I don't. I stopped trying to keep up. There's a monster for kind everything. Of yeah. Annual to keep track of. Them. Yeah, yeah, that's a bad. Joke, I'm drinking Adam. water because hydration is very important, you guys. Yeah, way to be a grown up. I'm drinking, no, I am drinking water. Yeah. Cough. Yeah. Coffee. Generally, I only drink coffee and alcohol, so I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. That's good. good. I mean, That's there's good. water in both of those things. I exactly. was going to grab a bottle of water additionally for this to, to go with the coffee, but then I was like, Max, you have a weak bladder. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You'd be gone like every 30 minutes for the show. It's true. It's a yeah. good point. But, don't, but now you're drinking coffee. Isn't that worse? It is worse. Yeah. So well, it, it would be worse to have water on through. top of that, though, wouldn't it? We do extra That's long true. episodes, we're like real long, like hour and a half. It's it's fine. <laughs> no like, breaks no, Max, on this train. Break yet. No, no. Listen, when everyone else is like, "All right, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. It's cool. I'm just gonna casually get up." I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> just freaking <laughs> run up and just run." I externally, I exude me just going like, "Yeah, guys, I'll see you in a second. But really, when I'm off screen, like, <laughs> "Fucking finally." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, well, let's just go around. It's been a long time, so we got to have something to talk about. Max, what's been going on the past 30 days of your life? Detailed schedule day by day. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what's, what's going on? In the, if I asked you what's, what happened in the past month, do you, or do, do the days just kind of yeah. blur together a little bit? <clears throat> I moved. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Okay. You I went to St. Louis. We canceled gotcha. a bunch of shows. Uh -huh. We didn't do a show for 34 days. Uh, these are the high points or the low points. You know maybe. What? You know on, on TV, whenever they do those like like real crime shows or, or whatever, and they're like interviewing people, and they're like, if you could recall for me the events of June 15th, 1997, and the person's yeah. just like, yes, I woke up in the morning, and I remember that day because No it was one knows raining. that shit. I'm like, I can't recall for you the events of yesterday, motherfucker. Like, I, yeah, I could I probably do that for like a week before. I could probably do it like what? My my days are pretty boring. Referencing your calendar and yeah. asking people, you could be like, okay, so <laughs> yesterday uh, I got up late. I just remember because Twitter and because I I yeah. share everything that I do with the I internet. Guess, so. Yeah, I that's guess that, that's actually true. Twitter got me out of uh, almost losing my deposit on the past house because I tweeted that a bird ran into my window and broke its neck, and thus I didn't act. That's kind of a gruesome story. Sorry, uh, but I didn't have to pay. <laughs> just not for the where I was thought that story was going. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Because bird. I didn't have to pay for the window because the bird broke it by slamming yeah. its neck so hard into it that it shattered the window, and I didn't know. Is the That's bird going to pay up. for it? The bird's paying for it. Yeah, his family's picking it up. It's crazy. I don't know. You must have amazing the bird died cleaners. for our sins. What do you that, mean? That man? window must have been really, really clear. What do you mean? Amazing cleaners. The window was super clear. It's like the commercials. You've seen it before. Like... Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, yes, the, I, I get what I you're saying. I don't know what now, it was. Yes. I think it was for like Windex or something like that. Yeah. It also scared the shit out of me when it happened last year. <laughs> I, rem I remember. I remember that. I think we yeah. might have been live on Court of Swords or something with, <laughs> when it happened. Yeah. It's okay. Maybe, maybe it's for the best that you got out of that house because it also apparently you heard just a loud like. Oh, no, that's still here. Sound. No, we covered that on Drop Frames. That's still here. That's people blowing up because uh, there's a quarry right next to the house. So that's uh -huh. them using dynamite to. Uh, to blow oh, shit well, that up. makes sense. Yeah. Perfect. So that ex Damn. that sound it sounded like random exploding was actually random exploding. It was random exploding, <laughs> yeah. It only happens in the day, during the day though, midday. So it might happen today. I don't know. We'll see. It scares the shit out hmm. of me now cuz I'm closer to it, uh Max. And so yeah. when it happens, it actually like there's not a place in the house where you're going to be like, oh, "I didn't hear that." You're going to fucking feel it. You're going to hear it. It's terrifying. It sounds like you're in a war. I guess I feel like it's, it's the closest they probably thing I've ever did been mention like. that when you moved into any of these houses. 
It's like you no. live on an airfield in Syria. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. Too topical. Topical. Too topical. <laughs> Why, too Why are we topical? laughing? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's that or, well, I'm Canadian, so I don't, it's fine. That's true. Yeah, no, no, no. You, you, you have the right, I guess. I guess he has the right. I don't know. I don't know. So, Max, again. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went to Orlando back there for Extra Life uh, United. Was there for a week doing that whole Extra Life thing. That was cool. Did a little bit of Disney. Came back. Um, had Are a bunch of people say, was that? Yeah, Are I like Disney. Okay. Yeah, I like Disney a lot. Um, and the thing about like Orlando, too, is, is uh, they have like all the different parks. It's not just Disneyland. Did you know that they have a game called Sorcerers? It's a card game. You go there. And you, when you walk into the park, they'll give you if it's the first time. Uh -huh. And then it's just like, uh, have you ever been to the Wizarding World Harry Potter? Anybody? That kind of thing? Uh -huh. Fantastic. So you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look, it's a card game. We play Hearthstone or we know what it is. No, it's, it's a card game, but that. in... Well, I say it because in Wizarding World, they have the whole thing with like wands. If you do specific wand movements and say whatever spell, stuff interacts and like does weird shit. You know what I mean? Like depending on where you do it, like a window area or whatever. So they have the same thing, but with this card game, because they have two cameras that, that scan the card, and then it opens up, say, like a painting. Like it looks like a regular painting, and then a portal will open up through it. And then it's like, oh shit, Cruella DeVille's fucking everything up, and so is Hades, you know. So you got to use like these different <laughs> cards. <laughs> you have to use these different cards to like. Are they best cast friends? Are Cruella DeVille and, and Hades just pals? Just hanging Listen, out? Listen, Hades is the ringleader. Cruella's just a pawn. She's just, she's. <laughs> A has been. I could see on. them. I could see them dating. You know. Yeah. yeah well, I don't know if he's just, she's just a floozy to him. You know what I mean? This is taking today, a weird turn. <laughs> today on Kingdom of Hearts. Anyways, it's a cool card game. You use the cards. It reads whatever you have. Opens up a portal. Whatever you see that was like just like a normal storefront changes because it's like a screen that's hidden. Yeah. And then you use the cards and it scans the specific cards and you can combine them and it gets harder and harder as you progress through these storylines. There's actual like storylines that you start with. Everybody oh. starts at the same storyline and it goes through further and further. And then eventually you have to combine cards and it'll like combine the spells and do all sorts of cool shit. Anyways, that's fun. Then Disneyland. That's cool. Yeah. It's yeah. good stuff. It's good stuff. Did um, you drink around the world? Yes, I did. I did drink around the world. <laughs> Stop. Never done that before. Yeah. Never done that before. It was a little rough towards the end, but it was good. It was good. I, we started in Mexico and went all the way around that way. So we started with tequila and a nice dinner by a volcano. And then... Uh, proceeded forward. Nice. It was good. There is something called Aquavit in one, somebody who's from this country could tell me. I can't remember no if anyone knows. Aquavit, it tastes awful. I thought it was, is it anise? What? Or is it like grappa? Aquavit. No, no, no. Aquavit grappa is, is like, I know what you're talking about. Grappa is the stuff that's distilled from the uh, the vines of. Uh, yeah, like the seeds and all the bad yeah, parts the seeds of the grapes that nobody the wants junk. anymore. Yeah. yeah. Aquavit Scandinavian. Yeah. Yeah, Scandinavian. That's what it is. Yeah, it ta it smells like black licorice and tastes like black licorice with a little bit of strong ass behind it. Uh, oh, sounds amazing. It's good. It's good. They got to drink something, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, it's meant it's meant to be like a dessert kind of thing that goes along with like you it's know. Like, it's a caraway. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to go like with like Christmas y kind of like you know, dessert stuff. From what I was told by other people that were Scandinavian. Sounds but it was bad. fun. Do drinking around the world is fun. There's no like actual guide. I mean, there's online guides or anything like that, but it's just as long as you have one drink of any kind, shot or regular drink, and finish it, and then and go ahead. I wonder if Disney like hates that. They're just like, man, all these fucking like money, all these fucking drunks in our goddamn amusement park. I'm yeah, guessing the drinks are expensive. Part. Yeah, I mean everything in there is going to be yeah. pretty. So they're expensive. probably happy about it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe so maybe mm -hmm. so. It's it's pretty neat though because every single one you go to like it, it, as far as I can tell they have like a program there from talking to one of the people there where they switch out who's working there, especially yeah. at this like French, French French restaurant that we went to. It's like all legit French people that worked in a restaurant in France and they just kind of bring them over. I mean it's Disney they have the money to do that so it's kind of neat. That's kind of weird. But I felt like they were all judging me. You know what I mean? Like the entire time. Well, that's just French people. That is part of the experience. Yeah, I have no though. idea. <laughs> that's how I know they're authentic. Yeah, that's just print. Yeah, no, no, exactly. A yeah. little bit of disdain with your food. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I did so, that. So back Disney, and I don't know what the is that Disney World or Land? It's World, right? World. 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 Okay. World is not West. That's how I'm going to remember that. That's how I'm going to remember that. Boom. Mm -hmm. After 30 years, I finally remember? figured out a way to not fuck this I'm going to quiz you again in 30 days. Okay. <laughs> world is not West. Okay. What else did you do um, next? 
What other games came out within that time? Nothing. Maybe I played it. Oh, Battlegrounds. There, I played Battlegrounds more a bit. There was this new Mass Effect game that was awful. No one really played it. Yeah, so that's indie game. It's on my list. I'm gonna play it. I just can't. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna touch on that. I. I played yeah. on launch day. I streamed launch day and then went to Extra Life, came back, and haven't touched it since. And ever since then, people are like, when are you going to play it? Are you going to play it, Max? How are you enjoying it? What about those facial animations, Max? Have you seen how weird they walk? I'm like, <laughs> damn it. My favorite thing to come out of all of that was the uh, there was a tweet where it was like uh, motion capture for Mass Effect Andromeda. And it was this guy oh, who yeah. was like wearing one of those suits and he had all the balls and stuff on his, yeah. uh, on his body. And then he was just running like the person runs in that video when they're going down <laughs> the steps. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious to watch on repeat because it's so ridiculous. It's absolutely I ridiculous. Mean, you'll forgive anything if the story is good. So yeah. that's just sort of my my worry about it. And I loved those games so much. So Me too. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just going well, to be rough, but I'm going to do like it. The reason I get that all the time in my chat is people asking about it and when am yeah. I going to play it and how do I feel about it is that I am such a huge Mass Effect fan. Everybody knows it. I did like yeah. a whole launch thing uh, leading up to it, playing through one, two. We didn't get through all I three. Saw, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were uh, they were fun. Those games like will always have they're a amazing. special. They're amazing. They're, and you, yeah, can, they're... you can watch it too because you still like you brought back all those memories of like when I played exactly. it and what I did. And differently. everybody plays. Yeah differently too yeah. like and everyone reacts differently so it's always interesting for me for replayability but i'll say this about andromeda real i'll try to be as brief as po possible yes there's weird animations yes there's weird things like that but a lot of people don't seem to consider the fact that the game is fucking massive yeah. it's huge <laughs> like 20 some hours in and you're only like what 30 percent maybe into the game and uh like you said, you'll forgive a lot of that stuff if you recognize that the story's good. If the story's shit, then I'm gonna be like, yeah, okay, I don't, I don't give a shit about this. And I feel like too many people were judging the voice acting too harshly. There is some weird stuff. Look at Dan. Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> well, I got a lot to say about this. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, well, I want to create say. a show where we we talk about things that happened 30 days ago and they're not relevant <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah. And we'll Last call it I'm Hot Takes. Say, That's the name of the show. It's I'm, called Hot Takes. <laughs> Last thing I'm gonna say, Dan, because I think you've probably sunk more hours into it, which is fine. But I'll say on the surface, from what I've played, the reason why I'm still giving it a little bit more time and I'm going to continue playing it, big fan, but also it is a thing where it's a new universe, literally like a new, a new galaxy, characters that you have zero investment in, and it has to stack up against the first the first three games, which now you have, you know, it's like a nostalgia thing and you have a huge connection to them. But this game, you have none. Go ahead, Dan. Unleash hell. Before he does right, that, like, someone cut that and then cut it to like a month from now when Max has actually played Andromeda. This game fucking sucks! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, like you, I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. Mass Effect 2 has to be probably one of my favorite games of all time. It's yeah. up there. It's on my top ten list. And I played it, and I was the same way. I, I, I put about six, seven days into it. Yeah. I was like, okay, the, 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 it's a rough start, you know, maybe it's all right, I'm getting into it, like, about 40 hours in, I'm like, this is just not very good, the main story <laughs> is not that great, uh, the side quests are very, very dull and boring, and then I forced myself to finish it, I, I forced, I was like, I'm this far in, I forced myself to finish it, Yeah, it wasn't worth how it. Many, how many hours I, did it take you? For me, oh. probably about 40 to 50, but I, I started skipping all the side stuff because the side right. stuff was mind-numbingly dull and repetitive. It, it it just didn't feel like Mass Effect. And like the, the, the worst part for me, I could ignore all the, voice, the animations and stuff, and, but the voice actors were kind of weak, and the store, most of the writing was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. uh, for most everything, except for some of the side stuff, side stories of the characters were okay, but every, every, most of the stuff was just just wasn't didn't, wasn't at the quality that I would expect of a title that says Mass Effect on it. It just wasn't yeah. there. For me. I mean, it's probably a good time of year for that game to come out because there's just not a lot of other stuff going on. Like, our people aren't really playing For Honor anymore. Yeah. Um, Battlegrounds. I've been having trouble with. It's just been so buggy for just laggy for me that. It, after, it gives me a headache after a while, but because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sometimes you know you're just like, oh god, like it's just mm -hmm. you know, you you guys know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But sure. some positive things: the environment art in that game was fantastic. The planets were yeah. beautiful, and yeah. the uh, combat system was pretty fun. They they had a nice twist to the combat, which I liked, but wasn't enough for me. 
Well, that's where that's where I'll agree with you. That's the only thing I was kind of keeping me because I, I believe me as I was playing it, even when I went to like the the preview thing, like they invited some people out to. I was just like, this is I was super fucking tired, first of all, when I was at that event. So I couldn't tell if it was just like the game, you know, kind of being a little grindy. And like you mentioned, some of the side mission stuff being real like, all right, I don't really know why I'm doing this. Fuck it. How do you feel about resources and uh, an augmentation? This is what I want to ask you. Resources and augmentation? Resources like getting them and how long it takes to get them and the process of getting them and how interesting that is and then implementing augmentation and figuring that whole system out. It it felt very like cat to sort of like the, the way Ubisoft usually does their games where yes. you collect stuff and very slowly and then you just everything's in menus. All this menu, menu, menu and the not not to mention the horrible UI that was just like took forever to get into every little nook and yeah. cranny. But yeah, it was it just I see what they were trying to do to make mm -hmm. make this interesting crafting system, but it just came off as you know monotonous and very tedious to. And the thing is, stuff. I think I think from the dev standpoint, some of them were of course aware of that. And when I was at the event, they were asking like, "Does it feel like you know? Does it feel good?" Like there was a lot of that kind of questions, like, "How does it feel to you? You know, does it feel like a Mass Effect game?" I'm like, yeah, it does, but. It's really like a lot, you know what I mean? Just to try to go through and try to figure out. They gave people a lot of options to build their character and their class and however they want. I do like the fact that you can go in between profiles and change if you're a Vanguard yeah. or whatever. That's cool. Like you're allowing the player to change to something that they like if they realize they don't like a specific profile. But yeah, I agree. The UI and stuff was very convoluted and it's very hard to like just, I want to do this thing with that. It's not very easy to get from point A to point B as far as like tuning out your character. I don't know. I'm going to still play it because I like Mass Effect and I'm, you know, going to going to go through it. Plus, I'll take what you said into consideration. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to give it my own go mm -hmm. and, and see see what it's all about. I do think oh, yeah. I'm probably going to end up staying a little more stick or crit path than than I have in previous games, which is kind of disappointing. Although, I don't know, Mass Effect one side missions were not like go yeah. to copy planet A and <laughs> see this signal. Ooh, here's some text. <laughs> like. But that, that is like a, kind of a product of the. It is a the revolutionary uh, thing to do nowadays. Is forming your own opinion, which I highly <laughs> recommend. You know, it is. It's something it is. that people should do once in a while. Wait, see it now, is, uh, now you've now you've trapped him in a philosophical paradox. I'm going to try it out. To have his own opinion, he's just doing what you told him to do. Do what you told him. You're, 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 you're just supposed to hate somebody else's opinion. You don't actually have to have your own opinion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just like, damn, you're someone wrong. else's without adding anything. Nice. <laughs> I'm learning so it's, much. Dialect, it's happening. Yeah. So are we caught up? Is that th is that thirty days of max? Are we good? I don't. We're still on me for some reason. I don't know. We just keep moving. I'm not that I'm, interested. Look, man, you've been busy. Dan's just gonna piss rant about Persona. That's all he's gonna do. Yeah, I want to get on that train. Oh, yeah. fucking talk about that if you want to. Can we do it? Yeah, go for it. I mean, we got ten. We got eleven minutes, so <laughs> we're cutting it off at thirty. So you got. If you're gonna go, go now. All right, a quick summary of the controversy. <laughs> uh, Persona 5 came out, and it, it, this wouldn't be a big of an issue if the game wasn't so good, but it's so it's a, probably the best Persona game yet. And Atlas decided that um, you're not allowed to make YouTube videos or stream past day 7-7 seven seven in the game, which is about a third of the way through. And if you go make content or stream past that point, they're threatening to take down videos or copyright strike and all this other stuff, which some, it's just something we haven't had to deal with the streamers and YouTubers in a while for, for companies not understanding the power of streaming and YouTube content about how it boosts sales. What mm -hmm. other Even, companies did that back in the day? Um, L.A. Noir had the same kind yeah. of jam. <clears throat> take yeah. two with L.A. Noir came out. I they mean, were yeah. very like, I, oh, pretty, I kind of get that. Pretty much every company does that prior to release. Embargoed pre-release yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, but like none right. of it is like everlasting. It's well, and, and yeah. JP, you ran into you ran into this problem too, where it's it's weird because they're like you can't stream anything after seven seven, but here are some other events you can't show. And if you're just trying to stream a playthrough, you're gonna hit those long before you get yeah. to seven seven. Yeah, like, like bike, bike man hit those like a day or two ago. Dan's probably I got one more. I got well. one more session in me, and then yeah. I'll be like, I can't. I quit. I don't know what am I supposed to do? Like go full cam yeah. and mute while I play, and, it, and then it's like, okay, it's well, over. I guess I could stream this boss fight or I could just not show you the video and you guys could listen to the audio and watch me react to it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. it sounds really, it's the whole thing's just stupid. That's why I just, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to play it anymore. The way Atlas USA was wording it was that 
they don't agree with it, but they answer to Atlas Japan, which is they're the ones that implemented these rules, and they're yeah. like, we don't agree don't, with this, but we yeah. have to follow what they say. I mean, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to play the Nazis card right off the bat, but there's this thing called the Nuremberg defense where you're just <laughs> like, I'm just doing my job. It's not my fault. I I'm not doing it. And and no, Atlas like, USA, like their their whole release just like dripped with that. Like it's not us. It's Japan. Meh. But yeah, they like, said the masters. Just, <laughs> just having worked in journalism for like more years than I'd like to admit, um, we saw that a lot. And like mm. I always, I did feel bad for the PR people when they're when you talk to them and they're oh, like, yeah. Yeah. "I didn't name the game that. I'm sorry. I told them a hundred thousand times that it was terrible." And uh, like I've just, you know, and and they're not, they're not like hurting anybody they're only hurting themselves they're only hurting their own game and their own sales so you know they have the right to do that yeah i mean it's, they're the copyright holders they have the right well and that's and that's right to shoot themselves in the foot i, think that's I totally the, agree the, it's stupid that's the flip side is that what's ironic sort of is that they're they're actually not saying no to anything they're saying yes to a very limited number of things which is more than most companies do most companies just don't say anything and could get you for the same things for streaming any part of their game. We exist in this very nebulous legal area where we're doing a thing and a lot of companies get it and are like, okay, cool, we're not going to give you explicit permission, but we're not going to come after you. Whereas right. Atlas is saying, here are some things you are allowed to stream, ergo everything else you can't. And I think it's important for people to remember that they're not taking anything away. They're just putting some very weird r restrictions on a thing that we're all used to just doing anyway. Yeah. It it's... It Very popped strange. up last night. Uh, I won't name the product because I don't want to give them press. But uh, on their website for this capture card, the first thing you see when you go to it is recording protected HD content with a splitter is prohibited by law. And then it has all of the information about their capture card. I've never seen that on any capture card. But if you were to, yeah, how like, here's how you do it. I mean, that, that's literally what 90% of streamers do because we all have yeah. strippers on yeah, our fucking smart. equipment. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, that's thing, so bizarre for me to see that on a capture card ad. The thing about this, the thing about this as a choice is it's like like Dan says, it sucks because the game is good. It's fun. And a lot of streamers that I know, we are not going to have time to play it at all. Right. Like we spend so much of our time streaming games. Like, I don't know if I'm ever going to finish Persona. Um, but what's scarier is that it sets a precedent. And the fact that, uh, you know, Twitch tweeted like, hey, everybody, look out. This is real. Sorry. And the company is essentially they can do whatever they want. Other companies might pick up on that and be like, oh, cool. We can just exert this pressure over broadcasters and be like, yeah, don't stream it. Only stream the first day and make us some free commercials and then stop. Right. And so yeah. it's 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 a worrying precedent that's getting set here if nobody is pushing back. I think that the mm. gaming companies know how valuable streamers are. Some of them do. I mean, I compare, and, they, compare and contrast yeah. with Square, right? Like JP, when Final Fantasy was coming out, Square was like, hey, yeah, let's do this thing. Let's get on board. Well, yeah, but uh, it, the pushback <laughs> is Square Enix Japan. Like Square Enix yeah. USA is like, yeah, let's fucking do this. And then they're like, well, we can't really do everything we want to do, but we could show you the game a little bit early and that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's mostly just Japan's kind of stuck in the 90s still. And hopefully that'll change. Except for From Software. From Software is like, yeah, no, we, you can play Dark Souls all you want and make us more money. <laughs> Just, mm -hmm. They understand the business. No one else really does right now. Yeah. So, so here's hoping that we get more From Softwares and less Atlases. I'm super disappointed that this is the tack that they took. But, I mean, that's, that's their choice. I hope that it hurts. I hope that they, they don't sell as many copies of Persona as they would have otherwise. Yeah, I and think... It's a, Mm -hmm. There was a press release said they hit like 1.5 million or something like that sold. I don't know if that's looping in though the all of the sales so far in Japan. For the yeah, past it's nine five months. five and a half five and a half million or or whatever in um. There's a like part of it is from Japan and then the rest is uh everywhere else and it's mostly that it's like twice as many outside of Japan. But oh. yeah, cool. yeah, it's disappointing. Um, and I hope that uh, there's enough pushback. I, I've been encouraging people, like, you know, to tweet at them, tell them that this is bogus. If you're a person who likes watching broadcasts or if you're a streamer or whatever, just tell them, like, there are other ways to get around this. Um, but it's not, it's not telling broadcasters what to broadcast. It's working with them to find things that feel like a fair way to get around this kind of thing. Yeah. <sighs> they probably I, I, 
I get I get a little weirded out just as a broadcaster of a long time when when it, or even just as a game consumer when I understand that the copyright holders and all that. But like you've bought this game. Now, here's what you can't show. Like what? I just I mean, don't like that concept if, at all. If you think <laughs> of sucks. movies just like games, you're not going to stream a movie like you're not going to broadcast an entire movie. That, I'm, I'm not going to broadcast the Fantastic Beast and where to find them right now on Twitch. <laughs> also, it's really weird that it's like that was a. St- I, it's on the I think it's a little. I, I think it's a little different just because it's more of an interactive experience, so it lends so, itself to broadcasting. Well, but. And that's and that's the thing people have been talking about because they're treating Persona Five like a movie because they're coming at it from this like spoiler angle where they're like, we don't want anybody to find out certain things about the plot because they might not buy it and play it, <laughs> yeah. which is sort of implying that there's only one way to play Persona Five, right? That you just play it from start to finish, and if you watch anyone do it. There's no reason to play it yourself because you've you've got the whole experience. Whereas a game like um, like Battlegrounds or, or something like For Honor, uh, they're easier to support in a broadcasting environment because they're very different every time. Um, Dark Souls probably to a lesser extent too, but that's at least the angle they're treating it like a, a movie. Um, but if so I, I want think to watch the cutscenes for anything, I just go onto YouTube and I'm like, yeah, you know, Last Guardian well, cutscenes yeah, or whatever, exactly. and then they're all put together for me, and I don't have to finish. The That's game. the crazy thing is, is you can go and like Google Persona Five movie, yeah. and all of the clips from the entire game are on YouTube right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Atlas is like, but you can't stream them. Don't stream those. <laughs> don't stream those. Well, scenes. that's. And that's the trick with it's like it's like those those anti piracy ads before movies. Like you're sitting there in the theater, you've spent your thirteen dollars or whatever to see a movie, and they're like, "Don't pirate this." And you're like, "I already fucking paid you for it." Like <laughs> I'm not the person who's gonna do this. Yeah. Right. Like you you're hitting the wrong audience, and so these people like 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 us who uh, broadcasting is our job, we're more worried about getting those copyright strikes, and we're just gonna ditch the game when we get to that point. We're gonna follow those rules, but the people who don't care, they're still gonna do it. They have no control over them. And the whole great irony is that one of the big themes of the game is like being rebellious and and not doing what you're told. Yeah, Yeah. that's true. So (laughs) it's like, I didn't even think about that. It's like, are you trolling us, Atlas? Like Atlas is like, here's a game about rebelling and being your own person and being like, yeah, fuck the police. We're going to police how you show that to people. And I'm like, do you want me to break the rules or? Maybe this is actually them just feeding into their own bullshit and they want us to break the rules. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, we'll that's how we'll unleash our inner personas. Yeah, we've cracked okay. it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm curious, though, if anyone's actually going to get DMCA'd because there's a bunch of streamers that are actually past or getting close to the point uh, and plan to stream past it. Like, I think, Dan, you, you plan on streaming past it, right? Yeah, like everyone that's been doing it, like they're not enforcing it at all. Like, yeah. They, seemed- I think they, apparently when it came out in Japan, they were hardcore about it and they were banning and copyright strike. But after a few months, they gave up. They realized they can't keep enforcing this because it's just just can't it's just the internet's too big and powerful to yeah. keep all this under wraps yeah so uh well i guess we'll see if they tend to do that all right morgan we've got one minute for you and adam so you guys need to fight for the minute and then we'll have 10 seconds go ahead go ahead life. go ahead no i'll do, I'll, <laughs> I'll defer you're the guest i have i have oh it's a politeness more. battle these are my favorite continue I'm, you cannot win a politeness <laughs> fight with a canadian so don't even come at me with this go <laughs> Um, I am also partly Canadian. Um, I was raised by a Canadian. That's something a Canadian would say. I uh, know, right? <laughs> um, let's see. There was PAX. That seems like a million years ago now. That's where everybody got miserably sick. Yep. Mm. Um, I did not. I escaped somehow. Um, I didn't either. I didn't go. It was the best defense ever. Yeah, I didn't go either. It was great. <laughs> I, I also, I've already been sick like four times this year, so I feel like I got <laughs> Jeez. it. Jeez. So maybe it was my maybe I missed Thanksgiving. Maybe I you were patient zero, man. I maybe I was I was actually healthy. That was the end of like three and a half weeks on the road. So okay. I was so ready to go home. Yeah. And then I've been home and yeah, that's all my it's my whole story. I got nothing else. Short and sweet. Yep, short and sweet. Adam, you got like ten seconds. Buy a t shirt. Buy a quarter of t shirt. <laughs> oh, nice. Adam's gonna Whoa, get this wow. Yes, go. doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got 10 seconds for NERP, so I'm going to use them. So there you go. Go buy a t-shirt. Uh, now we got to figure out where we last. We were like on a hill after a fight with the co-host. We yes. a bunch of cobbles. Yeah, like, yeah. So the the immediacy of the moment is is maybe uh, less uh, relevant than the reason you were on that hill. Um, so let's let's rewind back to uh, your, your previous uh, outing. 
you you're currently in the semi employ of uh, Grasping Hands, who is the leader of a gang called the Twelve Fold Thirsty Devils that operate out of Baya Monastery Town uh, in the Shulin Valley. Um, it started with him having some leverage over you vis-a-vis -vis some real estate problems, uh, which are being resolved now. Um, and he's been uh, he's been employing you. Uh, to uh, to do some some errands for him, um, and civil-minded gentleman that he is, uh, he's been concerned of late about some illicit substances that have been making their way into the monastery town uh, by way of an organization called the Scarlet Banner Trading Company, uh, who is uh, uh, a, a becoming a problem in in Baya, and so uh, he sent you to go and explore. Uh, some some rumored sites where they might be uh, obtaining these materials. Uh, it ended up with you getting stuck in a hole and almost killed several times. Um, but Berg saved everybody and it was fine. Um, like and then on usual. Like <laughs> usual. <laughs> and then on uh, on returning to town, uh, you were introduced to uh, Nakani Ino, uh, a uh, charming young snake woman uh, with a uh, with a, a mission. Um, which is to say, continuing your struggle against the Scarlet Banner um, in the hopes to uh, stop them from corrupting um, Baya completely with their, uh, with their poisons. Um, Grasping Hands has given you a, a lead uh, on an individual. There's a, a foreman uh, who is running a, a small sort of temporary town, um, like a, a staging town, uh, just south of the uh, Court of Coins uh, city of uh, Changbi, uh, which is to the north of where y'all are at. Um, this is a uh, an important individual, someone who works for the trading company, who's going to be able to give you some information about where they've been, uh, where they've been excavating, uh, where they've been getting these uh, these materials <clears throat> from, kind of the core of their business, rather than just this out uh, outlying um, ruin. So you've kind of got these ideas that they're they're tied in some way to. These kind of snake-themed ruins. Uh, they've been harvesting this like fungal material and processing it into into drugs. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, the um, the twelve-fold thirsty devils and their their leader would like you to go and uh, have a have a word with this foreman uh, about uh, what the uh, what the trading company is up to. Um, so you you were heading that way um, towards the staging town when you were attacked by first a wyvern and then subsequently by kobolds, uh, hoping to scavenge off the bodies of whatever the wyvern killed, but instead they found you uh, ready to fight. Um, so they're all dead now, surprising no one. And uh, you and your four draft horses uh, are just camped out on the, uh, on the hillside and, uh, and ready, to, uh, ready to continue after a rest. Um, I believe they've already, how? they've already been looted and, and what have you. Um, so yeah, so you're able to, to continue if you want to, um, does anybody have any questions, any, any gaps in their memory? Is this huh? a long okay. rest or a short rest? Uh, I mean, I assume you're going to rest the rest of the night. You're going to, you're going to Oh, sleep. that's right. We got interrupted. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's yeah. Right. I got interrupted in the middle of the night by these, these kobolds uh, okay. who were curious about all the noise. Remember the horn, uh, did some work. Mm -hmm. The horn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your yeah. magical, um. Uh, Horn. Oh right! I summon horns that attack people. Now, yeah, right? That's a true thing. yeah. The thing. Yeah. We never named the horn. What's like a? Yeah, I don't know. Has there been any named horns in in the world of the world? <laughs> the world of. I, I didn't. I was I gonna. I was, I was gonna say maybe Disney. They they might name some horns. Right. Like, like, like you want the Mjolnir of horns. Yeah. Like the horn of Jurgen Windcaller or whatever sure, the fuck yeah, from yeah. Skyrim. Mythological horns. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll uh, work on it. Probably. I'll figure it out. Probably. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can summon, and it, this is the horn of judgment. Um, so it's the it's the trumpet that is it is blown by judgment at the uh, and it's it's probably part of the rituals of of like uh, the judiciary processes of the courts too. There's probably like a uh, a horn that is blown on sentencing of a criminal or whatever. They use like different tones for for different crimes and stuff. It's all part of that of that jam. So you summon so as it's blasting them apart. It's judging them as well. Just like yeah. shame on oh, you. Yes. Yeah. Very judgmental. This this bird. <laughs> Yeah, All right, yeah. so far we've got the Galar horn, we've got the horn of Gondor, 
which I don't know if we can do that. That's kind of... Gondor is copyrighted. Gabriel's Horn. Copyright. Horn yeah. of Jericho. Horn of Problem is all of these are like all of these are biblical horns, right? Like horns are a big horns are a big like uh, uh, you know Bible jam, right? The Horn of Jericho and like my favorite Donald trumpet. Horn. You know that one's pretty good. <laughs> the Chad, horn of the Chan Chi. <laughs> well, let's call yeah. it the Horn of Judgment for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. So horn was horn was doing its doing its work. Um, and uh, yeah. And so you you all get a chance to uh, a chance to rest. Um, and I figure maybe y'all want to talk about how you're going to be approaching this, this company town. Um, I think, um, by way of th certain things in your past, um, Nakana, you know, you know, a little bit, you've had run-ins with the, the Scarlet Banner, uh, before, um, and you kind of know how they operate, right? Like they... They have um, a lot of political power, especially in the Court of Coins. They're a, a very big deal. They're very, very rich. They own many ships and horses and uh, uh, and warehouses and what have you. Um, and they're uh, they have sort of an exploratory division. And they'll go out and once they find a, a resource, you know, something they want to mine or people they want to enslave or whatever, they'll set up these little company towns. And over time, sometimes the towns will become more like permanent towns. There's lots of towns in the frontier of the Court of Coins that started as, uh, you know, red uh, or Scarlet Banner towns. Um, but this one is probably pretty new. They haven't been operating in this jungle for very long, um, but they're getting more uh, more aggressive about it. So it'll likely have uh, mostly workers, um, so a bunch of uh, sort of grunt workers. It'll have a foreman who is kind of de facto mayor of the little town, and then also uh, they'll um, they'll probably have. Um, you know, a, uh, uh, like a, a scholar of some kind, someone who's an expert in the, the local area or in the, the kind of resources that they're trying to, uh, to dig up. And then there'll be, um, there'll be guards, um, likely, uh, you know, humans or, um, uh, half orcs that have been uh, pressed into service to, uh, to protect the town. So, you know, that off the top of your head, uh, about how they operate, but there may be more to it than that. And so we're yeah. just trying to break we remind us of, of the mission that we were given. Like we're just trying to break up the ring. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're trying to figure out what the fuck's going on, right? Can Can everyone who isn't Morgan take your headphones off for a minute? Oh. <laughs> okay. How do we get signal? That just <laughs> give us a thumbs right. up. I'll, I'll give you the yeah, thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All I'd right. like to have a conversation. I'm gonna turn it down. All right. Um, oh God. Okay. Hold on, I can still you. Don't talk. Don't say anything. I'm gonna mute right. you. Okay. Go. <laughs> We're good. Okay. So, I mean, so you, you know, cause you're, you're trying to, you're trying to recover. You're, you're after the same thing that the Scarlet Banner are after, right? Like the Scarlet okay. Banner, um, they have been, they have been digging around in some ancient Wanti ruins. They're very close to discovering, um, a sacred site that's supposed to take be somewhere in this jungle. And you've essentially just been like watching them so you can find out when they find it and then take it from them. And that's what these suckers are here for. Right. Um, there's a uh, there's a sanctum uh, known uh, among your people as Najatra, and uh, it's supposed to contain some kind of divine serpent power, um, and that's that's your that's your secret mission, right? Is to like go there and and find out if they've discovered it and then take it from them. Um, this foreman, he's probably the guy that knows where it's at. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what you're doing, and I'll get everybody to put their headphones on, and then we'll talk about what they think that they're doing. Okay. All right, we're back. Welcome we're back. back. Welcome back. So, um, yeah, I mean, on the on the surface, <clears throat> um, the uh, grasping hands. Uh, you know, like I said, he's worried about the the drugs that these these company is making and trying to sell. They're expanding south into the into the town that he kind of runs the the lower parts of. Um, so he sent you to go deal with with them, and the foreman should be able to point you in the right direction of the the center of their operations. Um, so that's, that's what you're after. If you can get into the town and either like kidnap the foreman or kill everybody else and interrogate him or sneak in or make friends with him or bribe him or whatever, get information out of the foreman about what they're really doing in the jungle and, uh, and then follow up on that or go back to grasping hands and tell him what's up. Um, but he's basically just sent you out there to, to go and check that out. 
Cool. Um, yeah. So you're you're not far from from where <clears throat> uh, from where the town is supposed to be, um, and you can you can head straight there. But I mean, it'll be it'll be a thing if you just walk up to the front door and you're like, "Where's the foreman? We're gonna grill him for information." <laughs> Um, well, I mean, we are extremely stealthy. Uh, yes, certainly. <laughs> um, so maybe there's a way to send people in as volunteers or as workers or people mm-hmm. not volunteers necessarily, but to get paid to enter the town. Yep. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? You guys, <laughs> since obviously I'm not going to be the volunteer because I look like a snake. Yeah. Well, we happen to have a half orc slave with us. That's we true. Do. He could just slave God it up. I mean, he's used to it. slaving it up. <laughs> 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 I'm a bird, Max. All right. I'm a goddamn bird. <clears throat> and he's an angel. So. I don't think any of us look normal, is what I'm trying to say. I, mean, <laughs> I know. I was like, yeah, can you send uh, the normal? Nope. Can't. So, nope. so um, yeah. Uh, Asriel could pass for human uh, if he if he made an effort to. Um, but yeah, the rest of you, um, certainly I wear a goddamn lion mask and I'm a giant half orc. (laughs) I mean, big, big, scary half orc with a slave band on him. Like you, you're not, it's not hard to, to convince people that you were a slave. That'd be easy. But Um, also then, then we're operating, uh, under the assumption that word hasn't spread there of my bounty. Yes. Yeah. You, you, Kukrit is after you. Cause there is an active bounty for me, like, and like posters Mm -hmm. and shit. So. Uh, can I lawyer? Do we think that their, the foreman would leave at any time? Uh, he he pretty much he pretty much would live in the would, in the town. There. Adam, do these uh towns do trading with the foreman at all, like for supplies or stuff? Um, like would traders come into the town to trade with him? Probably not. They're all kind of internally um. Like internally funded, right? Because they have they're they're part of a trading company already, so they own like farms. They would get food from and send it to them. It's all very kind of internal. Um, like if the if the government of the Court of Coins ever fell, the Scarlet Banner would be fine and just probably become its own country. Um, so they're pretty self sufficient. Um, but that doesn't mean that people don't try, right? Like there's always like camp followers. There's people that will visit um, neighboring peasants whose like farms fall on bad times will often like abandon them and go and be like, yeah, cool, I'll do whatever grunt work you need. Um, they're not good for like the local economy because they just like eat up resources and uh, don't expend them uh, outward. Um, they just get bigger. Um, so they have a tense relationship with the, with the government of the court of coins. Um, but you could still pretend like you were going there to like, you know, sell something special rather than be like, Hey, we're here to sell you food. I do have a great deal of pilfered black tar heroin I could offer. <laughs> <laughs> Might yeah. work out. Or we could put it in the well. We could also just smoke it. We could poison the well. <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true uh adam once upon a time i did a bullshit thing where i intercepted the raven carrier in the city can i do something like that now to see if there's any messenger birds going in and out of the town if we're close to it? uh you'd have to you'd have to get a little closer i think okay. um their communication structure is a little tighter than the than the towns i think okay yeah. so that's an option if we get closer how <laughs> how far out are are you would would you say or are we like which a, is it? A, like a few days? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I think we need to get closer, regardless. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, feel free to make sure that you have all your hit points and all your spells and stuff, and all your resources recover. Um, I think I owe you guys some experience points because you haven't. Yeah, got, you, you do. Get, you didn't get your long rest yet. <laughs> so. Uh, maybe. I think you're right. Yeah, Double I check. I usually I'll write it. I'll write it down, and then I'll I'll like note that it's been paid. It's like a fucking invoice. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I've if I've paid you for this encounter. Do we get interest for all the time? Uh, no, no. It actually degrades. I get less experience. Oh, longer you wait, uh, it's not worth as much as it was before. Uh, let's see. Uh, it looks like I have not paid you your experience for that last encounter. So. Uh, yeah, let's, let's work that out. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Uh, six kobolds. Okay. So there were six regular kobolds, it looks like. Um, two dragon shields. The sork. And then <laughs> the sorcerer that I believe got away. But you still defeated him, so I'll, I'll keep him on there. Wait, didn't I hit an arrow, or did he actually get away? Oh, yeah, no, you yeah, you dropped him. He was, you got him. Got yeah, us, yeah, I remember that. You got we as made far a point as over to... here, and then I think you, you hit him. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he's in there anyway. One the one way. escapes. Um, so, let's see. 50 divided by four. Maybe it was Azrael. Azrael hit him with the javelin, according to the, the law. Yeah, yeah I one, hit him with it. You guys got him. Yeah. Okay, hit everybody, him, but I think you ran away. Uh, everybody gets uh, 763 experience. Damn. Um, yeah. Getting close to that level five. Yeah, for the two of them. How much was it? Sorry. 700. 763. Okay. Okay. Wow. 6,290 is where I'm at from 6,500. Oh, what's, you are close. What's level five? 6,800? 65. I just typed level five into Google, like expecting it to fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Max and I, I always do this shit. Yeah, you're close too. Aren't you a little Max ahead of me? And I are like one encounter away from. Level five. Nice. Nice. What are you at, Morgan? Two four two six. Uh, t what is level four? Twenty thirty. God damn it! I just closed it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> it is uh twenty seven hundred for level four. So close. Yep. Yeah, pretty one, close. One more fight's gonna be huge. Um. Okay. Cool. So, uh, yeah, you want to go, you want to follow the, follow the trail, uh, north through the jungle to, uh, <laughs> the edge of the edge of the town. Or, I mean, I guess you, you start to see the evidence of the town pretty early on. Like you're coming at it from, uh, from the South. So there's not a big like logging road or anything that's been set up. That would be from here further North into the court of coins up towards, um, Changbi. But you do see smoke rising, um, you can uh, you can tell that there is a uh, there's a um, settlement uh, you know a, a day or so away, and these guys set up all kinds of um, like industrial uh, equipment basically when they get there. So they would have built a built a forge or two. Um, they're they're very self sufficient, so they create all of their own kind of industry. So you can see this this black smoke kind of rising up from from the jungle uh, to the uh, to the north about a day. Um, how close do you want to get before you you kind of like slow down and, and talk about what you want to do uh well so we're on the we're on a road right now and sort of yeah it's like a wagon road um okay. it's an old it's an old like pre-imperial road that has long kind of gone to to ruin over the hundreds of years since it was used last mm -hmm. but the they've been using it to um to move uh product uh south towards uh towards Baia. so they're also going to have other roads so, I mean, we're gonna if we if we go around the town on a wide enough perimeter, we should hit other roads that they're taking, because yep. they're gonna like they're the people that they're sending in and out of the jungle, they're gonna need to be on a road also. So, like in a way, we could skip the town and follow the roads. Out. Yeah, like if you if you take a, a full day and do a perimeter, you can get an idea of all the ways in and out of the out of the town. Yeah, it's sounds safer worthwhile. than going into the town because mm -hmm. if we can get the information that we need without trying to take on an entire town's worth of people or having mm -hmm. to poison an entire town's worth of people um then that'd be good yeah makes sense to me yeah yeah all yeah. mm -hmm. for scouting yeah okay so who's going to be doing that um who's going to be like doing the the like wandering around searching the the outside area because you gotta you gotta kind of lay low i assume because you, you don't want to get caught doing this uh, yeah, I can go. I mean, is a snake person able to lay low? Slippery very, snake. Very, very low. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to, if people are going to well, be like, hopefully... is that a snake person? And then you'll just like stiff it up. And stiff it. I was. Nah. <laughs> yeah, no. Probably. No. Uh, what about using, uh, what about using, oh, wait, do, is there owl back? We had an owl, right? Oh yeah, I can use our owl to fly around and scout. Oh, that's yeah. true. You got the well. No, yeah. your familiar yeah. died. You got to resummon him. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, in the in the three days it took us to travel, we can resummon him. Yeah, yeah. You can call. It him died him. in its first outing. Like, hey, yeah. go check that out. Like, I'm a bird. Yeah. <laughs> and another wyvern eats. <laughs> yeah, totally. Just 
Yeah. Owl hunting wyverns. Um, yeah. So you want to you want to do that? You want to have called up your your familiar and then have it uh, go scope it out as the owl flies. Yeah, fly high and try to like see roots within the forest and see all the roads that are coming okay. out of the town. Um, or how... any other any other activity in the forest or in the jungle. Mm-hmm. So you can uh, you can look through the owl's eyes. Um, and uh, communicate with it telepathically as long as it's within 100 feet of you, but you can make it go further away uh, and then come back. Um, and let's see. Additionally, as an action, you can see through its... Oh, okay. So it'll it'll have to go and look around and then come back and Report. communicate with you. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So you want to... How far away are you when you do this, when you set up camp and then send out your owl? I'd say we're probably like. I'd say like half mile or mile. A uh, safe distance, whatever yeah, that like means a, to you. That's the correct answer. Safe distance. <laughs> yeah, safe distance. We're far enough away that we're not. <laughs> that's <there>. not how <laughs> that works. <laughs> no. That's not how that works at all. We need to have Morgan on here more often. <laughs> She's got the yeah. right answers. <laughs> whatever you think won't get us killed. <laughs> because I'm not. I'm not uh, objective at this. This is bad. Um, <laughs> Okay, yeah, like a, like stay a mile or so out, um, and just stay also, in the in the woods. Yeah, while while he yeah. sends out the owl, if I can do my bullshit bird thing, are are you gonna allow this to be an actual thing where I can just like intercept bird routes? <laughs> maybe maybe, um, maybe don't call it the bullshit bird. Well, thing. I know How I keep that's that's why I'm that's why I'm addressing totally, it now. She's like totally your legal counsel right now. I know. Totally so Morgan thing. Webb, attorney yeah. of law. <laughs> so it's in the, the book. <laughs> the bird thing you were referring to, uh, for the for the sake of those at home, um, is your background ability to have criminal contacts. That's now, right. It actually is a fuck. It, we just didn't. Unfortunately, it okay. unfortunately, um, the scarlet <laughs> the scarlet banner don't really deal with like external criminal organizations because they they know how to handle their employees. Right. Like if their employees want bad stuff, they get it for them. Um, there isn't really an in for a black market, uh, because they don't, they're not about that really. Uh-huh. Like they don't worry about that. So there isn't really, there isn't really any way, any way in the, their communication, like on a criminal level just doesn't really exist. Um, okay. because everything, as long as you're a good employee, as long as you're loyal to the company, the company will provide whatever you need. Um, so yeah, so you don't really have a, have an opportunity. Yeah. All right. Not um, good. so let's. Let's see. Um, let's have your owl make a uh, make a check. Uh, let's have you make a perception check uh, with. Um, uh, it has advantage because it's an owl, right? It has that uh, that yeah. ability? Yeah. Uh, that's um, uh, wisdom, right? Yeah, yeah. You should be able to just roll off of Boulder's character sheet there. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Fucking awesome. Wow. <laughs> Way to just so double right to a great start. Here, yeah. here's what happens. You release your owl into the sky. <laughs> no it, just, it just never comes back. <laughs> this doesn't. Wow. Doesn't we're the, we're just said, zero for two. It just shows the party as we're standing on a hill and the, the sun comes up and goes down and the moon comes up and comes down and the sun yeah. goes back. And then I just, I, I look at him and summon another one. <laughs> <laughs> Asriel's just like. Any moment now. Any moment. Like, he's coming back. Or he'll like come back. Don't worry. Look away. Someone just shoots it with a crossbow or something <laughs> off screen. And like, oh, oh boy. Just like, boing, flies to a jet engine. Um, yeah. So something terrible befalls uh, Balder, the owl, uh, again. Dude, this owl and has just done nothing back. for you. <laughs> wow. <little> guy. <laughs> hey, then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So now, I mean, you could you could spend the time uh, waiting further um, to uh, to to summon uh, another just another day, <laughs> right? But, but yeah, but the longer out. at this point, the longer you wait, um, the the more chances are that like a a patrol will come out and find you, or that like uh, something bad will occur. Um, you you kind of had the one the one free shot at um, you know surveillance, but my fear know. about sending someone out is that we get told that we're a slave and we need to go inside especially if we send out berg so i don't think berg would be the one to be sent out because they're gonna be like well you look like a slave get inside and yeah yeah i don't look like a slave other than the armband i look like a fucking crazy person with a an escaped slave get back inside (laughs) yeah Yeah, i mean take that mask off what are you doing (laughs) where did you steal that from you slave (laughs) 
You're not. Yeah, you're not dressed like a slave, but you have a slave bracer on, and you're a half orc. So yeah, yeah, yeah. People, when they see you, that will be the the thing they will assume. And yeah, if my scar is being exposed, it would would be a little bit on the top. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, I can't go in there unless we go in hot. I mean, me and me and Azrael can maybe do it. I can't go by myself because if I get into a conversation with someone, there's not going to be a conversation. <laughs> it's just I'm just a bird person that'll just repeat what they're saying. We're talking Wait, your way out of it. Can you fly? You can fly, right? I can indeed yeah. fly, but that's probably going to be a bigger thing when they see a giant fucking bird. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going oh, like this. <laughs> I mean, you can fly like around the town. It's totally safe. The owl is just free now. Doesn't your flying too, JP? Doesn't it like look really fucking weird? Did yeah, because I'm still that? I'm still oh. new to flying. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. really weird right now. Um, um, I mean, if we're gonna have to. What if we hired somebody? Like, is there traffic? Put traffic in here. Like, just throw fucking gold at somebody and just be like, "Hey, motherfucker!" Yeah, has anyone passed? You're gonna by us? die if you don't come back. Okay, here's some gold. <laughs> um, I mean, there isn't really like we could just again, have, you're uh, you, not gonna you know charm them. You've left, yeah, you've left the um the sort of like path going south. Um, right. And that that doesn't see a ton of traffic. Basically, they just like load up shipments and then head down that way. Plus, you disrupted the traffic to this this road because the next thing to the south was that uh, that temple. So they, you know, they've kind of abandoned it for now, at least. Uh, you haven't seen any traffic on this little path. The whole so right now through. we're just outside trying to fucking yeah. You're in the, you're out in the jungles and trying to figure out what to and do. And everything we're doing is just failing. <laughs> I mean, the one thing you tried to do, yeah, it did, it did everything. Fail. <laughs> yes, a hundred a hundred percent of the rolls you've made so yeah. far, just terrible failures. Yeah. I mean, let's if we're just gonna, go. If we're gonna stay, well, okay. If we're gonna stay together anyway, then and we're gonna make a huge fuss, then we might as well take the chance that we get captured. Like, if we have to go in anyway, like we're not gonna be conspicuous. All right. Let's. I. I want to pull I, a Higgins. Wanna... Here, here's the Higgins plan. Okay. That doesn't mean anything to anyone except for Adam and a bunch of viewers. Uh, <laughs> what if we summoned our elephant, I rode said elephant, and you guys acted like I was some sort of fucking dignitary, and we got inside the room to talk with the trade guy? That sounds good. This is this is it's it's less a Higgs plan and more an the plot of Aladdin. Um, <laughs> That's exactly right. Who's Apu? I'm I need a monkey. Can I? Is there like a way I could put a dress on or something to cover your snake legs? <laughs> yeah. Uh, just get a I wedding mean, dress so it trails by. Yeah, you know, like you could you could cover your snake shame probably. Um, it. I am difficult. not ashamed of my uh -huh. snake body. So we're clear. Right. I just, I just yeah. think, I just think it's going to be a little conspicuous in this particular instance. Yes. I mean, no. as conspicuous as a giant magical elephant and a bird riding atop. The elephant, <laughs> the elephant, once it's summoned, it um, looks normal. I believe it is mostly a normal appearing elephant. Yes. Okay. Okay. How long does it stay summoned? An hour? Uh, uh twenty-four, 24 hours, hours. Oh, twenty-four hours. There we got day to get it's in there. It's quite a long time, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the only that thing works. is if it goes south, then we're inside of a town completely surrounded with an elephant with an elephant. Yeah. Elephants don't move that fast, I don't think. And some wyvern poison and some black tar heroin. Yes. Very true. Um, I don't know. What else do be... we have? What else do we have? What else is in our assets? What else we got going on? Use heroin on town. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to use heroin on town. Um, the elephant has a movement speed of 40 feet. 40 feet. So it's faster than it's not walking. Bad. Fast, yeah. it's not, it's not horrible. Yeah. Can we all get on the elephant or no? Is it like a uh, one-person elephant? It's a, bi it's a big elephant. Um, you couldn't... You I guys mean, wouldn't get on the elephants. You got, I'm the dignitary here. I ride the elephant alone. And you guys yeah. are yeah, on the we sides. Can, we're on we're the guards. We're very exotic guards. Yeah. <laughs> 
So the the thing about the yeah the thing about the elephant is um you're my you four generals that control your you race. could ride on its neck yeah. you could ride on its neck that'd be the only place a person could sit on it unless you built a howda to put on its back which is like a big like platform uh, in which case everybody could ride on it but that would take some time to craft one of those <laughs> yeah I just throw like a fancy looking blanket over him yeah. it's fine any more we need to take a break but any more grand ideas that we can think about I've oh, gotten so much done yeah. <laughs> Planning is a phase of adventure. Uh, planning is very important. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I don't. I don't. We the bird thing. Dan kind of fucked up there. I so. was hoping that that stuff would work. Like Berg doesn't hey. really operate in like sophisticated plans because everything he does is suspicious. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm suspecting that that blessing was secretly a curse from this familiar. <laughs> it's constantly cursed. Pretty much, yeah. He's a, he's he's a broken. Cursed, man. Trying to teach you, trying to teach you a lesson about failure. <laughs> I don't know any other. I don't plans. know. I guess we'll think about it. I don't know. I feel like we should skip the town and just try to find the route out. Yeah, to find we can try working on going around, as we said earlier, and then yeah, see if we can find people on the road and then talk to them. And that if makes sense. Something to goes me. wrong, then we can. Our fortune said we need to follow things through. Let's, you know, bad things happen. That is true. Is that what the fortune? Although this could this could also be following things through. I don't know. We're still. And I have and I have a suggestion. Yeah, that's yeah. We can charm the pants off someone. That'd be great. Yeah. Literally. And then and then the hey and then the yeah and then Nakino could wear those. Also, pants. take off your pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could be friends with someone who had the magical ability to make a suggestion that I couldn't say no to once a day. Like I just oh, wouldn't no. trust them. No, I would just, oh, that'd be awful. Wait a yeah. second. Did I buy you lunch because I like you or because you serpent charmed you? Yeah, and then they just wink too. at you, you, and then you're like, Do you what remember the fuck? everything that they do? Like, no, you don't. You oh, think, that's fucked. Think that do you literally just like, whoop, and then you're just yeah. like, what yeah. are we yeah. talking about? Yeah, yeah. it's not like I friendship. Spent it's quite. I $1,000 at Skybar last night? That's so weird. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> why, why did I pay your hotel room bill? I didn't want to spend all that money. That's why it's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. All right, let's take a break. I think yeah, the plan is that we're going to go around the town and talk to people leaving. I think that's a good plan. Okay. That's sound plan. Yeah, can... For now. If you guys have something else in the break, we'll talk about it when we get back. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to have nothing. Let's do this. Okay, nothing for Max. <laughs> Counting it. Uh, we're going to take a break. Still got three hours left to go here on Quarter Swords. We'll be right back with more. We'll see you guys in just a bit. <laughs> 